Hey guys, this is Tom Long, film critic for the Detroit News, and this is The Real Deal, and boy do we have The Real Deal this week. Hancock comes out. This is a Will Smith 4th of July movie. I believe it's his 5th 4th of July opening, and it's going to be a huge one, and deservedly so. Uh, directed by Peter Berg, with a great sense of both humor and action, Hancock is the story of a uh, kind of reluctant superhero, a guy who has all these superpowers, but doesn't really want them and doesn't know where they came from. He's an amnesiac. Um, um, he is also an alcoholic, so he's drunk most of the time, and so virtually every superhero feat he pulls off becomes a, a train wreck, literally in one case, um, and he, he can't land well when he's flying, he makes mistakes when he tries to do things right, he hates kids, he hates old ladies, he's a complete uh, curmudgeon and, and rascal, I guess you'd say. Um, the first half of the film is very, very funny um, as Will Smith plays this stuff, plays the grumpy guy up just perfectly, and yet the action keeps coming at you. Um, in the movie, what happens is that he meets Jason Bateman playing a PR um, guy, and Bateman decides to clean up Hancock's act and make him actually, you know, accessible to the average man and a good superhero. Um, Hancock, though, develops an attachment or, or um, attraction to Bateman's wife, played by Charlize Theron. And halfway through the film, everything flips uh, upside down and goes even crazier. Uh, this movie is directed by Peter Berg, who is just the best. Hollywood action director, I think, going right now. He's the guy who did Friday Night Lights, he did The Rundown, he did The Kingdom. This is the movie where I think the audience catches up with Peter Berg. It's going to be huge. Um, it's exactly the kind of blast you want to have on July 4th weekend. I gave it a B plus. Go see it, and I'll see you next week.